What's coming up? February 2nd, Apple is going to do their reveal. Apple Vision Pro reveal. And I love using these fibs because they tend to work out uh, quite well. We pop down and then we reclaim this little trend line here and kind of trade sideways some more uh, before we get the real breakdown, um, which will just be another great buying opportunity. And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village. It is 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven, go get you a Slurpee. And let's jump into the charts. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, some of the altcoins, some of the narratives going on right now. And what's coming up? February 2nd, Apple is going to do their reveal. Apple Vision Pro reveal date. When is it going to be? February 2nd. So what is the narrative likely to play in? Uh, well, Apple Vision Pro, Metaverse coins, AI coins, gaming coins, likely to get the next flush of capital if you ask me. Um, so I'm gonna go over a couple of those coins. But uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin first. Bitcoin rules the market. Bitcoin rules the market. Um, and well, we used to say whatever Bitcoin does, altcoins are gonna do more, but um, right now I'm expecting, well, a bit of a sign. Well, first a pump to the upside. A pump to the upside. Where does that pump, uh, pump likely land us? Well, uh, that good old 618 FIB is gonna be our target on the daily consolidation, which is coming right here at uh, 45 to 46,000. That is right where your 618 and not 0.5 are gonna be hanging out. <clears throat> if we do lose this level at, uh, well, Specifically, 40,377, any kind of a daily closure below there, and probably gonna get a decent size move to the downside, somewhere around 36,000, 35 uh, would be the main target. But um, if we look at the last, and I love using these fibs because they tend to work out uh, quite well. Um, let's go from the low to the high. On a bearish retracement, uh, the 618 coming in at 34,000. 34,000 sounds like a nice even round number. 34,122 uh, would be the main target once we lose that pivot at 40,450 on the daily. So what's likely to happen and what are we hoping for? Well, what we're hoping for is this sideways consolidation for some time. Um, and then maybe a slow step down, step down, and that'll give our altcoins some chance to move. Notice Bitcoin dominance is, uh, well, on the weekly time frame. Bitcoin domi dominance uh, did just print a bearish engulfing candle. So what does that mean? That means that likely Bitcoin dominance is going to go down. Additionally, on the weekly time frame, we had a bit of a a bit of a five day closure, which just came in uh, a couple days ago. Five day closure is this guy right here. Bearish engulfing candle, very, very likely ends results in at least a test of the 21 at 39,000. Uh, best case scenario, right? We pop down and then we reclaim this little trend line here and kind of trade sideways some more uh, before we get the real breakdown. Um, which will just be another great buying opportunity because we are long-term macro bullish on Bitcoin, still in a major uptrend, major, you know, rising channel here. Um, just looking very, very nice uh, overall. So after a massive 200% pump for the year, it's okay for a 30% dump. It's okay. It's, don't get your feelings hurt. Um, it's completely fine for Bitcoin to pull back a little bit. Um, so as Bitcoin trades sideways, consolidates and Bitcoin dominance comes down. Well, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the altcoins, which are likely to run as a result of the next narrative, which is going to be 
<clears throat> metaverse gaming. And what are the ultimate metaverse plays? Sandbox and mana. So we might as well take a look at those as well. Uh, sand, I do own a piece of land in the metaverse. So let's throw that one on there and then I'll throw on mana. And then you guys let me know in the chat if you want any additional coins to go over. So I'm gonna start out with, um, I guess, well, Tau is an AI coin. So Tau had a massive run and I'm not interested in this one until we get back down to about 177. So that one's off the table. Uh, wanna remind you guys, Mr. Stinky Linky, Mr. Linky, <clears throat> very likely this year does make a run up into this box, somewhere around 30 bucks. Um, and that's double from where we're at today. So where am I looking at potential buying opportunities for this one? Again, uh, we've been talking about this guy right here. Um, I do think actually this massive range, very similar, well, not very similar, but somewhat similar here i do i do believe this range will get resolved to the upside um where am i going to get interested in this one if we can come back for this little vector candle right here how greedy do you want to get well that's up to you but we have one touch in and i'm looking for one more swipe down in here a nice little pin down to 1140 and then a rocket up to 30 bucks. That would be nice. Um, also notice actually on the shorter term time frames, this is a reversal formation for Bitcoin. Uh, or a, <laughs> a reversal candle. And if we do take out this wick, actually I'm gonna get out of this trade and take my freaking, excuse my language, my loss. If we do take out this wick for Solana, I'm probably gonna run, oh, so you can't see that on, on this screen, but um, it's the same darn formation. Time to go 100X long as soon as we take out this wick right here on Bitcoin. That is the bear wick. If we can take out that wick, well, um, very likely some short-term peace and prosperity for Bitcoin. Uh, and I do believe we'll test the top side of the range at 43.3. And if we break that, even on a 15 minute time frame, your next level up is gonna be 44,000. Ultimately, um, I do believe we are gonna resolve this little range to the upside. Um, now, however, you know, if we do Close anywhere below here, 41,656 on a 15 minute time frame. I do believe we will test this trend line once again. Uh, so that is it for Bitcoin. And I'm gonna get back into what I was talking about, those narrative coins. So starting it off with Root. Root Network, apparently it is its own network for, oh, I'm just gonna get out of this, I'm, I'm getting out. I'm gonna get out while I still can because losses turn to more losses and I'm just gonna quickly get out of this position. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It does hurt, ow. Okay, we're out of that. <clears throat> and, and I'm gonna get back into what I like be talking about so let's just watch bitcoin so bitcoin did take out the bear wick and i assume that solana will do the same thing okay back on the root so what is the root network um mr root mr root mr root well uh, we can head over to coin market cap excuse me coin market cap I want to remind myself why I am in this coin. Just for a short term trade. Actually, it might turn into a long term trade. Why do I say that? Well, if you look at the all time, uh, this one's just gradually grinding up, 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 and away after an all time high of uh, about 20 cents. It's currently at 8 cents. And what does Mr. Root do? 
Primary token root network is a layer one design hub open metaverse where anything can be connected to anything. Why do I like it? Small market cap, $107 million invested. You've got almost, uh, well, 10% of the coins are um, in, in supply, circulating supply, 10%. So fully diluted market cap is going to be 1 billion, 1 billion tokens. So needless to say, um, I think something like this has more room to run. More room to run sideways and up. And uh, with this February 2nd, uh, February 2nd thing going on here, I think this one could pump a bit more. Okay, next up. <clears throat> as far as the chart goes, though, as far as the chart goes, declining volatility, I mean, probably a better buy down here at about six cents, but we're going to let this thing run with the rest of the market. Okay, Prime. <clears throat> Prime Echelon Prime, a gaming coin. Not bad on the 12 hour, getting a fresh buy signal on the jewel. This guy right here and you will have hidden uh, bullish divergence while well, price is making lower lows the RSI is making a slightly higher low and that should give you a drive up to the 21 at a minimum which is coming up at 831 or 833 um, probably gonna get a lift off to about 860 doesn't look like much from where we're at right now but that's a 6% gainer so not bad um, if we do resolve this to the upside um, maintaining the four hour uptrend well uh, it's slightly now a downtrend on the four hour but on the daily we do have uh well the first lower low in place if we close anywhere here or higher so needs to get back above this area to really get bullish but i'm taking a risk on this one as prime is prime for some gaming some gaming metaverse type action wilder world it's a wild wild world out there apparently they have some of the best gaming and metaverse uh, ui experience whatever you want to call it um should be one of the top gaming metaverse coins and uh you know target on this one 992 992 does that line up with anything else back here let's see from the height of the low so first target 727 okay uh, as long as we don't get any dailies back below this level at 238, then uh, pressure's on to the up sign. So we have a nice uh, daily uptrend. Don't finally, don't fight the daily uptrend, okay? <clears throat> now, the other one that pumped really hard is Sui. Another narrative out there. Mr. S Chop Sui, some kind of a swapping type coin exchange etc etc um so sui's already got uh quite a big market cap right <laughs> so they got the change your life money and then change your wife money i just thought it was funny you don't want to change your wife don't get a divorce very very painful uh experience don't do it sir just do it for the kids keep them for the kids sir um no. so sui uh is this sui yeah uh, okay so just made a fresh new all-time high bullish and nice to know on sui well depends on what exchange you are on <clears throat> not a new all-time high here on binance tether but my point being is that Sui's market cap is currently $1.4 billion, 11% circulating supply. Um, the coins under Sui should do well. They should do very, very well. And um, 
What are some of those coins under that narrative? You're gonna have Turbo, Cetus, let's see. Turbo is um, a meme AI coin, low market cap, very, very low market cap. Again, these are not financial advice. These are high risk, high reward opportunities and likely to get some love um, as Sui just had a huge, huge, huge pump from the lows. <clears throat> I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. That's 284% over the past couple of days, over the past week, 100% gainer. So it probably has more to go, um, even though you know short term you get a pullback. Turbo and then Cetus. Um, <clears throat> Available on Maxi, probably the best exchange out there right now, in my opinion. Crushing all time high and consolidation above the range as long as we're, you know, above this nine exponential. Uh, looks good for, for more on Mr. Cetus. And what is Cetus? C E T U S. C E T U S protocol. the SUI network and uh, about to be in that blue sky breakout zone and uh, 33 million dollar market cap which I'm going to add that to my little list here but CTIS is a DEX in the SUI network so the DEX is under so by the main chain and the DEX is you got CTIS <clears throat> and then you got Sui Swap. Let's see what that one's doing. Sui Swap. Okay, and then I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I gotta go to the gym. It's time to go to the gym for me. <clears throat> In a blue sky breakout. Wrecking it up to the upside, and this is another Dex. So just a little uh, tip there, and uh, I think I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Ethereum, oh, look at that, Mr. Ethereum. Go, 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 Mr. Ethereum. Pump it to the upside, sir. Pump it to the upside, and notice on the ETH Bitcoin chart that uh, we are amidst a bit of a breakout on the daily. We are doing, in fact, what we were hoping for, and that is a trend reversal, macro trend reversal. And uh, yeah, as long as we put in a higher low here, anywhere on the daily, I'm gonna be um, bullish on Bitcoin or on Ethereum. And notice the ETH dominance taking a major leg up, major leg up here. So um, expect your Ethereum coins to continue onwards and upwards. Beam's another one that's probably gonna pump here. Uh, based on the four hour volatility play, you can see four hour volatility got extremely low. And as we get expansion, right, you expect that momentum, uh, or that price goes in the direction of the momentum. And uh, yeah, that's, this is your RSI right here. And you are gonna be printing some bearish divergence if we do confirm this as a local high. How would you confirm it? We'd want to see a four hour closure below that wick. So 
party might be over if we close below there, but overall, I'm expecting this one to retest the highs at 0.2 cents, 0.926. All right, I think I'm done here. My work is over. I'm going to the gym. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. I will see you in the next one. Take care.